Hey, what's up guys? It's King Knock here. I'm coming to a brand new video. This is a post-com video because there's a topic I want to talk about in this game. And in this gameplay behind me, you're seeing here, I drop I think 223 kills and 6 deaths on shipment. And it is reverse piece and that's the topic of this video. It is a very big topic in the Call of Duty community. The last, I mean every year it's at the same time like people talk about reverse boosting and like because it's go based matchmaking is always in gaming and like people talk about how reverse boosting is cheating which i'll get to that after but yeah every time around the same like at the same time every year people always talk about reverse boosting and the thing is i could see where people come from because there is youtubers that obviously if you get a good gameplay in the newer call of duties you're most likely reverse boosting there's not every game you'll get nukes but like when you're uploading nukes every gameplay obviously it's reverse boost like i'll admit i reverse boost like I, there's no hiding like who cares like honestly who cares if you reverse boost like you admit it doesn't really matter but the topic is like is it cheating for me personally it i guess it kind of is cheating i could see the point where they say it's cheating but like you're manipulating the matchmaking, which is fine like I've seen like other YouTubers when they upload videos like you're manipulating the matchmaking because you're wanting it to be like the old Call of Duty. Like that's the, why I do it because I like the pub stomp. Like I get high kills, which I understand it's scummy. That's why they call it cheating. But like when everybody says like oh they want the old COD matchmaking, this isn't really like it. I understand that in the sense where these kids are all shitters usually. Like you'll find one or two other kids that are like reverse boosting possibly. But most of the time it's shitters. Which that's not how old COD was. It was a mixture. That's what I want personally. And that's what everybody wants. But like obviously I'm going to still reverse boost because I don't. It's just how I want to play. Like I, I'll i get. You can hate all that for it. But that's how I want to play. But yeah let's go back to the cheating point where. <laughs> it is cheating yes. I understand that because. Like, these kids are terrible, and it's, they're not, ha it's, I'm the one having fun, these guys aren't going to have fun, and every time I play, they always call me a cheater at the end of the game, which, because I'm just kicking their ass the whole time, but yeah, I can see that point, and it's, it is what it is, like, that's how I want to play it, like, yeah, you have to admit you're reverse boosting to, like, not seem like a scumbag, but, uh, I mean, I'm on here just like, I don't know what to talk about really. It's just reverse boosting. So I might just go on and on about the same point, but there's, I don't write a script or any of that, but like, you look at the drama, right? That's happened with, I don't know if you guys watch the YouTuber, the Rick. I don't know if this will blow up or not or see this, but like, those reverse boosters that are like, that doxed him is pretty crazy. Like, it's not that serious, right? If people call you out for reverse boosting, just you don't have to be a, like a complete douchebag about it like you know just who cares like you admit it you reverse boost like no one's it's not the end of the world if you reverse boost just admit it and it, who cares like honestly if you get called out doesn't matter like my friends and i we talk all the time they all like everybody i know that i re like knows i reverse boost and they call me a piece of shit for doing it which is fine but like Anyone that would actually reverse boost, like if you had the opportunity to reverse boost, you had two consoles, most people would do it. Like you see, it's blowing up now. Everybody's reverse boosting. So many people. Like during the Black Ops 6 beta, I reverse boost. But there's also other RBers. Like I'm not, I'm a good player. Like I could play non-reverse boost lobbies, but it's not fun. I want to drop nukes and all that. Like, yeah, I could drop nukes and like the new, like the, the actual skill log, but it's not going to be a high kill game like this. Like that's why I play it how I play. I could see why uh, a lot of people hate on it, cause it's, cause the mat like the cod co like the cod, how do I say it, gameplays, is all the same thing. You know, you see all these YouTubers have the same thumbnail, and it's always the same, like number one class setup. Which I understand I've done that before, but like that's how a lot of people do it now, and. Everyone in the comments, I've read comments, like, they, I think they hide their comments of people calling them reverse boosters because there's no way that all the comments are, are like, positive comments, which is, like, it's kind of stupid. Like, who cares if you get called out? Like, you know it and, like, just admit it. Like, I don't really care. Like, who cares? I know I've said that a couple times here, but, like, honestly, like, there's nothing wrong with admitting it. Like, who cares 
if you reverse boost and all this stuff like everyone knows it and the, like i find like the gameplay is nowadays like back in the old cod like going like getting high kills was crazy now it's like getting high kills is like it's it's just the norm for gameplays like you look at the older cods those were the prime days of cod like gameplay was so different back then like everybody was just every different map like here you see me playing shipment all the gameplays everybody uploads is always the same maps the same stuff and there's no really variety i'd say but like i don't know it's it's diff it has to be different like cod has to change like i was obviously i'll reverse boost until they remove skill based matchmaking and like they just need to remove skill based matchmaking like bring back the old cod like I understand that everybody like that says that it's like a nostalgic feeling. You're looking back at like, oh, those were the times have changed. Like everything grows and all that stuff. Like, which I understand. But every game nowadays has skill based matchmaking, which is a problem because my friend plays Siege and he wants to play for fun. He doesn't want to sweat. But here he is. He plays all these high champ players because like, because he's a good, he's a decent player, and they think he's like a champ player, but he's really not. Like Fortnite, like I stopped playing Fortnite because they had a skill based matchmaking, and the game is just not as fun. Like everybody just camps, and like plays so pa like passive, and everybody's trying like so hard for no reason. Fortnite was supposed was fun when it first came out, and like that was the same with the COD. Like COD was fun when it first came out, and then all of a sudden they added skill based matchmaking, and the game just became just shit. And then they also added the BR, which made the game even worse. But like. They just need to change it where skill based matchmaking needs to get removed and gaming would be fun. Like, games that don't have skill based matchmaking, like, so single player games are taking, like, a huge boom, I'd say, in a sense, because not everybody wants to sweat every game they play. The whole point is to have fun. Gaming's supposed to be fun. Like, I understand, like, seeing this gameplay, how is the other team having fun? Which is, I understand that. Like, I see where people come from on both sides of, like, the spectrum of like what they look what they want right like both sides of the arguments but like nothing's gonna ever change i think it's at that point where you know people are gonna reverse boost everybody's at one point is gonna reverse boost like if you have two consoles and you have the money people are gonna reverse boost and it's never gonna change and we have to just like take that as like it's never gonna change like who cares if you like if you reverse boost it's it's done now no one's gonna you calling out reverse boosters, it's not going to change anything. Everybody's going to still reverse boost. Like, I reverse boost my... I know people that reverse boost. Like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We want to have fun. But, going off in the same topic here. But yeah, you see this game is about to come to an end pretty soon. I'll probably talk about more skill-based matchmaking in another video and talk about other gameplay. I'll have a, probably a Black Ops 6 beta gameplay before Black Ops 6 drops because it drops in time of recording this i think in nine days so probably eight days when you see this up on youtube but like i'll be reverse boosting a black Ops six i'm excited for black Ops six the gameplay look was fun in the beta the beta was actually pretty good just have to wait for the full game but yeah the gameplay is about to come to an end here call him my nuke but yeah gaming has changed a lot and yeah we'll definitely upload more uh gameplays but yeah, this was a fun game, crazy amount of kills, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.